thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this session of training, we will see about the sales report and we'll learn about displaying available blanket reports. This report is a very simple report. This helps the business to take a look over their blanket agreements that they have with their business partners for a certain date range or you can choose the business partner or you can choose the items for which you want to see the blanket agreement. This is the purpose of this report. Let's see about the selection tabs. There are two tabs that you have to select. You can either select item tab or customer tab and each of these tabs have almost similar selection criteria. Let us see something about the selection field. I have taken customer tab here since all these tabs have almost same selection criteria. So we'll look only upon the customer tab. Now agreement method here can be based on item or monetary that is sales amount governed or item amount or item quantity governed. Agreement number, sequential number of the agreement which is assigned automatically by the business one. Items code for which you want to run this report. Business partner code, business partner with whom you have made the agreement and the name of that business partner. You have a start date, you have an end date, you have a termination date. The termination date means that on which the blanket agreement cease to exist or it is without effect. Now if the agreement is terminated before the actual end date, when you enter the date, the agreement status changes to terminated. Then there are a couple of other selection criteria as well. You can select agreement type, agreement status or fulfilled. Let's see about the agreement type. The agreement type, the kind of agreement that you have with your business partner can be general or specific. General used if the terms of the agreement aim at achieving a certain number of items sold or a turnover with a business partner and thus obtaining a special bonus at the year end. That may be related to a sales employee as well. Now specific type is used if a special discount is given for each business transaction related to the agreement or if a certain delivery plan has been agreed upon. For example, the sales or purchase of a certain quantity or value of the items at regular interval. Now you can see that agreement status can be approved on hold, draft or terminated or even cancelled. The fulfilled status shows whether the terms of the agreement have been fulfilled for a particular item that is whether the agreed number of items or agreed monetary amount has been reached or not. Let us run this report and these two tabs will give the same report. This is the report that you get when you run this blanket agreement fulfillment report. Agreement number, sequential number of the agreement which is assigned automatically by SAP Business 1. Business partner code with whom you are doing your business, its name. You have a start date on which the agreement becomes effective. You have an end date until which the agreement is effective. Termination date on which the blanket agreement cease to be effective. You have a fulfilled status showing whether the Terms of the agreement have been fulfilled for a particular item. That is whether the agreed number of items or agreed monetary amount has been reached or not. You have an agreement type, the kind of agreement that you have made with the business partner that is general or specific that we just saw in the last slide. You have the owner name of the employee who is responsible for this blanket agreement. The item number, number of items that is covered by this blanket agreement and their description as well. You have the unit price for these items that you agree with your business partner. You have a planned quantity, the total quantity of items that you are supposed to so sell or buy in case of purchasing within the realm of the blanket agreement. You have a cumulative quantity, the number of those items that are included in sales or purchasing transaction associated with the blanket agreement. Here we are talking only about the sales. This value is in the SAP business one and you have open quantity, the number of items that are not yet included in sales transaction associated with the blanket agreement. 
that is plan quantity minus the cumulative quantity this value is filled in automatically you have a cumulative amount the monetary value of those items that are included in sales or purchasing transaction associated with the agreement an open amount the monetary amount of open quantity that is of the items that are not yet included in the sales transaction thank you